welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day um if you're a new person here or a newcomer welcome so today i want to talk about interracial dating yay so as you guys know i'm in an interracial relationship so i kind of just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of being in an interracial relationship why is this video important because it is okay it's okay before i even get too deep in this video i am going to say this is solely based on my experience and my opinion so don't get triggered you guys i'm going to start with cons so one of the first things i'm going to mention is people make a lot of assumptions about me as a black woman because i choose to date a white man and this is what i mean by that a lot of people assume i'm whitewash i can't handle a black man whatever that means and basically i'm a sellout i've been called a lot of name in my comment section if you have seen my other interracial video someone called me a bed witch or a bed wretch or something um, i had to google what that meant because Oh girl do not know what the shit that meant but it's not good next point i want to make is uh racism yep you knew it was coming um that i've actually experienced quite a bit of uh, my worst experience to date would probably be in new york yes i've been to new york twice both occasion it was pretty crappy uh it was directed more towards us as a group um people there are very vocal which to me was weird because it's new york it's so multicultural but people are so segregated um but yeah there was like you know some places you get the looks there it was like you get the words my last point is different way of communicating and this is very big because for me communicate i don't know if this is yeah this is a con so for me i communicate by yelling and having an attitude and being crazy i know i know that's what people think all black people are like i promise you not all black people are like this i've met a lot of black people who actually communicate well but speaking for myself i communicate by freaking yelling and going crazy a lot of times and with my husband he just like he's not like a pushover or anything but he's more just like level-headed and chill and blah 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 but me i just express myself more through you know being loud and stuff um is it a bad thing sometimes it can be but through my husband i'm learning to like more talk about stuff that i'm not happy with than yelling about it and cussing about it but um yeah that can be a con because a lot of time yelling and acting crazy will just cause more arguments but in my mind i'm thinking it's not like that's just so i communicate like me yelling is just me expressing myself but um, yeah, he's learning. I'm learning to just kind of be more level-headed from that. And he's learning that even though I yell and blah, 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 that's just me expressing myself. Like, your girl is just doing her, okay? So for pros, I have experienced different cultures and traditions, which to me, this is a big plus because I'm all for experiencing new cultures. I have friends are i've been in a lot of different friends group over the year have had the chance of going to like indian parties and celebration and all these things like different people from different walks of life like i went to japan and i could i had the chance to like divulge myself into their culture and i just enjoy experiencing other people's culture and it's good for me being with someone from a different culture because not only does he learn stuff about my culture i also learn stuff about his way of life his culture his traditions and stuff like that and that to me is a big plus and i enjoy that and it expands your horizon you're expanding your horizon every day is a new day and it's funny because through teaching him stuff about my culture it has, it has also helped me 
to be more educated on my culture, believe it or not. Um, next thing is you break cultural stereotypes, yes, because I speak it for myself growing up, white people were perceived a certain way, like they were considered this or different. I'm not gonna get into it, but growing up in Jamaica, there's a lot of assumptions based on what we see on social media. Well, not social media, because as a kid, we didn't really have social media, but just like media is in television. But um, there's a lot of assumption based on what we were limited to. And when I came here, I realized that was not true. And this doesn't just go for white people. This goes for a lot of different like cultures and religions, like Muslims and stuff. You were raised to think this or this was what you were told. But then I came to Canada and Canada is so multicultural. So I've learned so much about a lot of different people and culture and I just love it. It's awesome and I just, it's great. Um, another thing I wanna mention is more food variety. If you know me, you know your girl loves to eat. I love food, food is life. I live to eat, not eat to live. But um, yeah, a variety of food. Um, for th I wouldn't say this is a huge pro on my list because I've always been a foodie. Colin is very picky. So I mean, he didn't bring a lot to the table when it comes to food. Like I've learned a few food stuff from him, but it's more like the basic stuff. Like he, he's like a five-year-old kid. I think if anything, I've actually introduced him to like 10 times more in terms of food. Cause obviously if you know Jamaican, we are really big. Caribbeans as an old, Caribbean people as an old, we are huge on food, like curry goat, oxtail, rice and peas, tripe and beans, who you name it, I love it, and it's there. But yeah, food, yes, you learn different foods and stuff like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And, and yeah. the last point I want to make is um, you strengthen, your relationship has a special bond and Yes, I know what you're going to say. Every relationship has a special bond. But I mean this in terms of because there's all the extra stuff that comes with it, like what I mentioned in the cons. It's like you, it kind of brings you closer in a weird way. But this is like any challenges, I guess. When you go through challenges and stuff together and people being against you or blah, blah, blah naturally you're going to be stronger as a person as a mom as a whatever so in terms of all the not so great stuff that comes with being in a interracial relationship the good stuff are better because it brings you closer together and that's something i appreciate um i've personally learned to have a tougher skin because I'm not a very confrontational person, definitely not a fighter. So yeah. So when people come at us in like negative lights and stuff, it's like my husband will more like, what the fuck? Like he's not here for it. I'm more of the, just let them talk. They're not worth my time and energy kind of person. But uh, yeah, it's, going through certain stuff together definitely brings you together more and make you stronger as a couple and that's something I appreciate and uh, yeah that's basically a few of the pros and cons that I wanted to mention that you face that happens in interracial relationship if you're someone who enjoy dating interracially or is thinking about it or is scared to do it just go for it be yourself don't think you have to like change and act a certain way to attract a certain type of person that is not true i'm not out here campaigning for everyone to be an interracial dater i'm simply saying a lot of people are scared of what society might think of them if they date outside of their race 
and it's your life do you explore if you're into your own kind or you're just you just enjoy dating people from your race that's fine if you enjoy dating different people from different race that's fine if you enjoy dating people from different religions that's okay we're all humans we're all out here trying to find happiness we're all out here trying to live our best lives just be the best version of ourselves and just do what makes you happy people are always going to talk people are always going to have something to say so just do you and all the extra shit and opinions from irrelevant people really doesn't matter as long as you're happy but what you should not do is trying to change yourself to attract thinking oh I'm going to attract this person if I act like this or if I don't act like this or whatever be you be true to you and the right person will come regardless of color race size blah 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 and yeah that's that this just got very deep sorry that's crystal for you but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i think that's everything i want to say um what do you guys think are you guys interracial daters are you guys just regular um black love well, white love asian love indian love whatever uh daters and just relationship on a whole